Hi guys! Our next video will be about theorems on rectangle. Theorem number one. If a parallelogram has one right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. So we have a parallelogram LIVE. Now, in this theorem, it says that if one of the angles is a right angle, then all of the angles are right angles. So for example, if angle L here is 90 for right angle, then it will follow that all of the three here are also right angle. And we can say that this parallelogram is a rectangle. So measure of angle L here is equal to 90 for right angle. Measure of angle I will also be 90 degrees then measure of angle V is also 90 and measure of angle E is also 90 degrees and we can say that this parallelogram here is a rectangle so this is rectangle L I V E theorem number 2 the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent so we have your rectangle hugs with diagonal HG and SU. Now, this means that they are congruent. So we can say that diagonal HG is just congruent to diagonal SU. Now, A. If HG equals 5, so if this is 5 here, what is SU? So since this is 5 here, so we can say that SU is also 5. Letter B, if HG is equal to PX minus 2 and SU is 5X minus 14, what is SU and what is HG? Since the two are congruent or they have the same measurement or equal measurement, we can say that HG will be equal to 5X or HG will be equal to S. U and HG is 3x minus 2 so this will be equal to 5x minus 14 the value of SU then combining like terms we are going to have 3x minus 5x plus negative 14 plus 2 so 3x minus 5x is negative 2x the negative 14 plus 2 is negative 12 dividing both sides by negative 2 the answer will be 6 so, what is SU? So, SU is equal to 5x minus 14. Our value of x will be 6. So, we're going to have 5 times 6 minus 14. So, 5 times 6 is 30 minus 14. That will be 16. Now, if SU is equal to 16, it will also follow that HG is also 16 because they are just congruent or equal i hope this video helped you if you have questions about the topic please comment down below and see you next time